Hi children, today we are going to read the story of Prince George. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel to watch lots and lots of other videos from Peppa Pig, Hey Dougie, Bluey, Coco Milan and lots of puzzle books and little library books. You will enjoy them. Shall we read the story of Prince George now? The story of Prince George. Daddy Pig is saying good night to Peppa and George. Just one more dance, chuckles Daddy Pig. It's nearly bedtime. It is bedtime, Daddy Pig, says Mummy Pig. They are almost asleep, says Daddy Pig. Why don't I put Peppa and George to bed, says Mummy Pig. Can we have a bedtime story first, says Peppa. Okay, says Mummy Pig. But only if you promise to go to straight to sleep afterwards. We promise, cries Peppa. Story, giggles George. Once upon a time, Mummy Pig begins, there was a fairy tale castle. The castle was home to a brave prince called George and a clever princess called Peppa. Prince George and Princess Peppa spent their days exploring the castle. They even had a cook who made them jellies, cookies and fairy cakes with cherries on the top. Prince George and Princess Peppa always ate everything. When they were finished exploring and eating, Prince George and Princess Peppa summoned the royal wizard. The wizard wore a cloak covered in stars. He put on big magic shows and his tricks never went wrong, ever. Abracadabra! Everybody loved living in the fairy tale castle until one day a big scary dragon arrived. Princess Peppa squealed. Her royal friends ran as fast as their legs could carry them. Only Prince George stayed to face the dragon. Princess Peppa peered out of the castle window. The dragon was very big and scary. She hoped it wouldn't eat Prince George. Brave Prince George climbed on his horse and rode right up to the dragon. Grrr, said the dragon. Grrr, grrr, said George. Suddenly, Prince George giggled. The dragon was not scary. It was just lonely. Dinosaur, cried George. Dinosaur. Princess Peppa came out of the castle and Prince George invited the dragon to a picnic. The royal cook made a feast. The royal wizard put on a special magic show. Soon everybody in the kingdom wanted to meet the dragon. Princess Peppa and Prince George held a big party and the dragon was the guest of honor. His spines popped lots of balloons but nobody minded. <laughs> pop, pop, pop. The 
that dragon liked the prince and the princess so much he decided to be their royal pet prince george led a parade to celebrate everyone cheered hooray for the dragon hooray for princess peppa hooray for prince george the brave hooray and cries peppa dinosaur snorts george daddy pig comes in to check on them mommy pig has spent so long telling the story that she has fallen asleep good night mommy pig good night princess peppa Good night Prince George Hope you all enjoyed reading this lovely book about the story of Prince George Peppa and George are in feeling very sleepy so mommy pig tells them a new bedtime story Can Prince George the brave save Princess Peppa and her friends from the big scary dragon Yes, of course it was a lovely dragon, isn't it? It became a royal pet. Hope you all enjoyed reading the story with us. See you soon on another book. Please subscribe to our channel to watch more videos from Peppa Pig, Bluey, Cocomelon, lots of puzzle books. Bye.